We've all created a budget, but my guess is if you're here, then you probably had some trouble sticking to a budget. Hi everyone, my name is Cindy Brown. I am a financial coach and budgeting expert, and I help single black women spend money with confidence. This channel is for single black women who feel confused on how to manage their money, frustrated when they think about their financial future, and shame when they think about their financial situation. I am here to help you create and stick to a budget so that you can stop living paycheck to paycheck and start spending money with confidence. You work too hard to be this broke. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you never miss another video. All right, before we dive into this video, I wanna make sure that you guys know about my free guide. It's called Five Money Traps that women fall into on their financial journey. Not only does it have the traps that you could fall into, but it also has the solutions as well. So make sure you get that guide because it is F-R-E-E -E for re, and it has a lot of great tips and tricks, some of my best tips and tricks um, to help you get through some of the financial traps that I see women fall into a lot. So make sure you download that guide. The link is gonna be in the description. All right, so let's dive into today's video. So today we're gonna to talk about sticking to a budget. And I feel like there's three main problems you might fall into, you might run into if you're having trouble sticking to a budget. And I'm gonna go over all three of those today. And the first one is people problems. So you're the type of person that you'll create a budget, but when you create a budget and you're out in the real world and somebody asks you to go to lunch, you're just like, yeah, you don't even check your budget. You don't even spend any time in the world thinking about whether or not you can afford it. You just say yes. The solution to having people problem is saying no. You probably are the type of person who has a hard time saying no to people. You don't really have strong boundaries around your budget. You just say yes. You forget the budget that you made. You spent time making the budget, but you just like throw that out of your mind and you move on because you have a people problem. That's a big indicator that you have a people problem. And I remember I had a client once who does have people problems and I would notice that during the holiday season, she spent a lot more money. And I was just like, you all, you never have any trouble sticking to your budget. Like what is going on? And we dove into it, why she was having trouble sticking to her budget this month and her family was in town. And she noticed that whenever her family's in town, she spends a lot of extra money um, on um, taking everyone out to eat whenever her mom would come to her and ask her for something she would say yes she just had a, a lot of additional spending on family during the holiday seasons which there's nothing wrong with that but if it's not in the budget and you have a hard time saying no to family then we need to make uh, accommodations for that in your budget so so the next problem I see is when people have a process problem so in the last example Somebody, the person was able to create the budget, but when, when it was brought out into the world, they had trouble sticking to the budget and saying no to people. This person with a process problem, they have trouble creating the budget as it is. They might feel overwhelmed when it comes to sitting down and thinking about their budget. They might not be using effective systems and processes that work for them. Um, some people require a written budget and that works for them. Some people like electronic budgets and that works for them. They just haven't been able to find the correct process. And so there's a lot of different processes you can use. I can maybe go over that in another video, maybe uh, in the comments below. If you are interested in that type of video, drop a comment and let me know that that is what you want and I can make that for you. Um, but if you're having a process problem, it's probably you're having more trouble creating the budget than you are like bringing the budget out into the world and you know actually utilizing that budget. You just have are having trouble creating the budget as it is. And the solution to that, um, if I didn't iterate it enough, I just want to make sure that it's very clear is to sit down and create an effective budget. And I've already created a video on creating a budget, so if you have any trouble creating a budget, um, just go back and watch that video. And the last problem, the third problem that people face when they have trouble sticking to their budget is a perspective problem. 
Um, maybe you're the type of person who doesn't even need to know or doesn't understand why they have a budget as it is. If you're creating, uh, I have a great example of that. I had a client once who loved giving and there's nothing wrong with giving, nothing wrong with giving. I encourage people to give. I think it's a great way to spend your money, um, but you do have to build it into the budget. And so his true goal was to spend more money on giving. Once again, there's nothing wrong with that. His bills were paid. It's not like he was overspending or anything. Um, but um, the goal that we had created for ourselves or within our time together was that he was going to pay off his car. And that wasn't his goal. So he had a goal misalignment. So remember how in the last video I talked about you need a goal when you're creating a budget? If you're having trouble sticking to the budget, you need to maybe reassess your goals. So the solution for this problem, I'm trying to say, is creating SMART goals. If you're having problems sticking to your budget and you're noticing that you're spending a lot of extra money in one category versus another, maybe you need to re-identify or reassess what your goal, your true goal is. All right, so that's my method for sticking to a budget. Let me know in the comments, what is the single greatest thing that you've ever spent money on? Um, if you'd like a video about uh, different processes that you can use to create a budget, um, let me know in the comments as well. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss another video. Just one more final plug, don't forget to sign up for that free guide. It's called Five Money Traps that women fall into on their financial journey. Um, it has a lot of great tips and tricks for how to avoid those traps. Make sure you download it. And that's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.